Hello, everyone, and welcome to this presentation on cardiovascular system disorders. Today, we'll be diving into understanding the various conditions that can affect the heart and blood vessels. This is a crucial topic for all health students, as cardiovascular health is fundamental to overall well-being. Let's start with the basics. The cardiovascular system, as you know, is composed of the heart and blood vessels. These work tirelessly to pump blood throughout the body, delivering oxygen and nutrients. When disorders arise, they can disrupt this vital process, leading to a range of issues from poor circulation to more severe events like heart attacks or strokes. Now let's explore the different types of cardiovascular disorders. We'll be covering several key conditions, including coronary artery disease, heart failure, arrhythmias, hypertension, valvular heart disease, peripheral artery disease, and stroke. Each of these has unique characteristics and impacts on the cardiovascular system. First up is coronary artery disease, or CUT. This occurs when fatty deposits, known as atherosclerosis, build up in the coronary arteries, reducing blood flow to the heart. This can cause chest pain, shortness of breath, and fatigue. Treatment options range from lifestyle changes and medications to more invasive procedures like angioplasty and stent placement. Next, we have heart failure. This condition arises when the heart can't pump enough blood to meet the body's needs, often due to CAD, high blood pressure, or valve disease. Symptoms include shortness of breath, fatigue, and fluid retention. Treatment focuses on medications, lifestyle changes, and in some cases, pacemakers or heart transplants. Moving on to arrhythmias, these are irregular heartbeats caused by abnormal electrical impulses in the heart. We'll discuss types like atrial fibrillation and ventricular arrhythmias. Symptoms can include palpitations, dizziness, and fainting. Treatment options include medications, lifestyle changes, and devices like pacemakers and defibrillators. Let's talk about hypertension or high blood pressure. This is a common condition where the force of blood against your artery walls is too high. We will discuss the causes, symptoms, and treatment options for hypertension. Now let's discuss valvular heart disease. This involves dysfunction in one or more of the heart's valves either due to damage or congenital defects. This can lead to stenosis, where the valve narrows, or regurgitation, where the valve doesn't close properly. Treatment options include medications and valve repair or replacement surgery. Peripheral artery disease, or PAD, involves the narrowing or blockage of arteries supplying blood to the limbs, usually due to atherosclerosis. This can cause painful cramping in the legs, especially during walking, as well as numbness and cold feet. Treatment includes lifestyle changes, medications, and sometimes surgery or angioplasty. Next, we'll discuss stroke. This occurs when blood flow to the brain is interrupted, either due to a blockage, ischemic stroke, or a rupture of a blood vessel, hemorrhagic stroke. Symptoms include sudden numbness or weakness, trouble speaking, and vision problems. Immediate medical attention, medications, and rehabilitation are crucial for treatment. Understanding the risk factors for cardiovascular disorders is key to prevention. These factors can be divided into modifiable and non-modifiable categories. Modifiable factors include diet, exercise, smoking, and stress while non-modifiable factors include age, gender, and family history. Prevention is paramount when it comes to cardiovascular health. Lifestyle changes such as healthy eating, regular exercise, quitting smoking, stress management, and regular checkups can significantly reduce your risk. Emphasize the importance of these habits to your patients. When treatment is necessary, there are several options available. These include medications like statins and blood pressure meds, surgical procedures like angioplasty and bypass surgery, and lifestyle changes. 
cardiac rehabilitation programs also play a vital role in recovery after a heart event. In conclusion, cardiovascular disorders are a significant health concern affecting the heart and blood vessels. By understanding the risk factors, embracing preventive measures, and utilizing available treatments, we can work towards improving cardiovascular health for ourselves and our patients. Remember, early detection and intervention are key. Thank you for watching today's video on cardiovascular system disorders. I hope you found it helpful and informative. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you never miss a new video. Also, feel free to drop any questions or comments below, and I'll see you in the next video.